Many people believe that with the ongoing effects of the pandemic, now is about the worst time to be investing in commercial real estate. Well, on the contrary, I'm here to give you the top five reasons why you should be investing right now in commercial real estate, because I believe it's the best real estate investment there is at the moment. So today I'm going to talk about the five reasons why now is the best time for commercial real estate. In fact, to get us started, let's talk about the differences briefly between residential and commercial. So residential property has had a tremendous increase. In fact, in the year from June 2020 to June 21, it's gone up 31%, which is enormous. And real estate all around the world is at an all-time high. And the same cannot be said for commercial. Commercial has been languishing largely because of the pandemic. Many hotels haven't been able to be filled. They can't meet their own financing obligations, and many of them have gone into foreclosure or they've shut down. Many shops have gone into bankruptcy or they've just shut down. Restaurants have closed down. There is a surplus of commercial space. Surely, I can't be recommending that anyone invests in commercial real estate. And for reasons I'm going to share with you, I think that right now, commercial is the best investment in the real estate realm. And just a quick reminder, most of us think we know what residential is and what commercial real estate is. But for some reason, especially here in the States, multifamily homes are considered for financing and appraisal purposes to be commercial real estate. Well, here's my definition of residential or my definition of commercial real estate. Residential real estate is where people have residences, whereas commercial real estate is where people conduct commerce. And that is why, according to my definition, multifamily apartment buildings are definitely residential. They're just residential on a large scale. When I talk commercial real estate, I'm talking exclusively about shops, offices, storage facilities, and anything else where commerce is conducted. The first reason why now is the best time to invest in commercial real estate has to do with interest rates. Interest rates are at the lowest level that they've been literally in decades. And the United States is one of the only countries on this planet where you can lock the interest rate in for 30 years. In fact, if you manage to get a 40-year loan in this country, you can lock the interest rate in for 40 years. Already there's talk of interest rates rising. That means if you were to buy commercial real estate today and lock in an extraordinarily low interest rate, one of the prevailing low rates, then you will have that rate for the duration of that mortgage. We have never seen rates this low before. This is the best time to buy. The second reason why now is the best time to get in commercial real estate is that the pandemic has forced business changes to occur. Hotels have gone defunct. Warehouses have become vacant. Shops have closed down. You can buy this real estate very cheaply. Now, if you don't know what to do with it, then I wouldn't recommend buying it because all you do by buying a vacant premise is have a commitment to pay property taxes without any income. But if you can figure out a way of filling those premises with a rent-paying tenant, then you've got the source of unlimited passive income. And let me give you a couple of examples. I visited a client in Atlanta, Georgia last week, and he had shown me a year before a hotel that wasn't doing well and was being sold for pennies on the dollar. And it was turned into a storage facility. You think about it, all the rooms are already separate. They've got lockable doors. And this became a viable business proposition to turn a hotel into a storage facility. You might also consider turning a hotel into an assisted living facility. The growth in demand for assisted living in this country is not only increasing, but it is slated to do so for the next 30 years. The pandemic has caused changes in the way business is conducted, and that's resulted in opportunities like we've never seen in two or three lifetimes. Reason number three has to do with cash flow. You know, with a residential property, it's the landlord who pays the outgoings of property taxes, insurance, and maintenance. But typically with commercial real estate, it is the tenant who pays those outgoings. In fact, the rent is described as being net of those three items, property taxes, insurance, and maintenance, which is how we come up with the term triple net. A triple net lease is one where the tenant pays rent, and in addition, he pays those outgoings. That means that your cash flow is stronger. And in addition, typically, Commercial tenants want a long-term lease, whereas residential tenancies tend to only run for a year, and often at the end of the year, they simply go to month to month. In fact, the most frequent call I get from my commercial tenants is, hey, Dolph, can I please get a five-year extension on my lease? And I'll look it up, and I'll see that they've still got four years to run. So I'll say, but hang on a minute, you've still got four years to run. And they'll say, yes, anyway, getting back to the question, can I please get a five-year extension on the lease? 
And you may ask, why would they want a five-year extension when they've already got four years left? And the answer has to do with it's their goodwill. They earn their business there. They want longevity of lease. Even if they're selling the business, they want a long lease because it makes the business more valuable. This is great for your cash flow. The fourth reason why now is the best time to get into commercial has to do with diversification. Most of us start when we invest in real estate, we start with residential. I started with residential. My first acquisition was an old wooden villa divided into two units and it had two more units out the back. So I got started in that, but slowly I realized the advantages of commercial. So that's one thing you can do. You can segue into commercial, and in doing so, you'll realize all the benefits of uh, investing in commercial real estate relative to residential. But there's also a hybrid that we can participate in, and that is if you've got a residential property and the council changes the zoning on that property from residential to light commercial, then you might be able to replace your residential tenant with, for instance, a hairdressing salon, or maybe a law firm, or a doctor's office, something like that. And the value of the rent will go up a lot, and the value of the property will go up a lot. Making the switch from residential to commercial, whichever way you do it, is likely to be extraordinarily lucrative. And the fifth and perhaps most important reason why now is a great time to get into commercial real estate is simply that the best time to buy is always now. You know, I've never heard anyone say, you know, I regret buying a property when I did. I wish I'd waited three years, or I wish I'd waited five years, or I wish I'd waited a decade. But I've never heard anyone complain about buying a property when they could. The only complaints I hear are when they sell them. Not that they sold it and made a profit. That's always good. They might have made a profit of a million dollars. But invariably, I'll hear from them three or four years later when they say, oh my gosh, if only I hadn't sold. I've just seen it's on the market again for yet another million more. Not only did they miss out on that extra million of capital growth, but they missed out on rental income during that period. That is why one of my golden rules is never sell. Well, it used to be never sell. Sometimes there are extenuating circumstances during which it might be smart to sell, not very often, but sometimes. So I changed the rule from never sell to seldom sell. In general, people who sell tend to regret it. And in general, people who don't buy now tend to regret it. Because if you wait a year waiting for things to get better, they don't. What tends to happen is prices tend to keep on creeping up. If you're in the market, now is the best time. Today, I've given you five reasons why now is the best time to get into commercial real estate. And I know many of you are thinking, does this apply to me as well? Like, I've got my own circumstances. Is this right for me right now? And to help you make that decision, I'm offering a free consultation with one of my team. If you click the link below, you can set up an appointment and we will walk through with you, given your circumstances, whether you should take action now or whether you should perhaps wait a bit to build up a few more cash reserves. So if you want to take advantage of this, make sure you click the link because this is a great opportunity to find out whether you are right to take action today on commercial real estate. Once again, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, ring that bell. Make sure you watch the next video where we've got more interesting information for you that will help you achieve financial freedom through real estate. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you as always successful investing.